Welcome to the Pretty Twisted Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Teresa. I'm the owner and dyer behind Pretty Twisted Yarns, and I'm so happy you stopped by to chat today. This is my little corner of the universe where I talk all about my knitting and my hand-dyed yarn business, Pretty Twisted Yarns. If you are new, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. I have some whips to share today as well as some finished objects and I have a lot of shop news and life updates so I will try to keep it in a somewhat cohesive timeline but yo I make no promises there might be a few tangents it's been four months <laughs> I don't even know if I know how to do this anymore what should I do first okay I'm gonna do a little bit of shop talk shop news shop talk I have upgraded. I've leveled up my bases. I have some new bases and I love them so much. I sourced um, a new merino, merino nylon. So this is going to replace both Lush and Glam. So I have one um, merino nylon and it's 85% extra fine merino. 15% nylon, four ply, so perfect for socks. I wish that you could feel this through through the camera. It is like so squishy. And I'll talk about colorways and stuff in a little bit, but I also sourced a new type of um, shimmer, shimmery yarn. This is called Stardust, and this does not have Stellina in it. It has Lurex. I wish you could see. And the Lurex is plied in, so it's kind of a barber pulled effect. And it is super, super soft. It's not scratchy at all. And the shine is insane. On a dark color, oh my gosh, it just looks like stars in the night. Um, what else about this? It's also four ply. Super beautiful. So that, that, oh, and then the other, um, let's see if I have one in here. Of course I don't. Why would I? <laughs> um, let me get one real quick. Oh, no, I do have one. Okay, cool. Cool coat. Okay, so Shiver, which is my silver Stellina, now has double the Stellina. So it has 70% extra fine superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 10% Stellina. So it is like just, let's see, the shimmer is just gorgeous. So those are new bases, and I'm also going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm also going to be doing something a little bit different with self-striping. My self-striping yarns are now going to be a club, and it is a super secret society of self-striping sock knitters. I'm going to have openings the first Friday of every month at 7 p.m. East, Eastern time, and they will stay open until I reach capacity or until that Monday. This last one I did reached capacity in like 15 minutes. So, um, you know, maybe try to set a timer or um, hop on if you want to get some self-striping yarn. So in what I'm doing in between that is just kind of a free swim, free play, um, and I thought a really cool thing would be to take my self-striping colorways and use the colors in a different way, like a variegated or speckled. So, for instance, my MK colorway, this is it. And I'm calling these colorways unplugged because they are self-striping. Not that self-striping is artistic, but it's a lot more sciencey and math. Um, 
doing something like this speckled and variegated, it's a little bit more artistic and watercolor-like. So remember like MTV Unplugged? It's just like the artist up there jamming. This is me just kind of like throwing color at wool. Um, but yeah, this has all of the colors in MK. And all of these yarns will be in my shop, prettytwistedyarns.com. Um, this Friday, oh gosh, what is Friday? Today's the 27th, Friday the 29th. It's the 29th, right babe? Friday? David? What? Is Friday the 29th? Yeah, today's the 27th. Okay, so yes, these will be, all of these colorways that I'm showing will be available at prettytwistedyarns.com. Um, this Friday, the 29th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I have MK on Lavish, which is my new Merino nylon. I have Macy Made, which is a blue that uh, I was inspired to create because Mace of Skeins is uh, my, my idol and my hero and I wanna be just like her when I grow up, even though I could probably be her mom, but she loves blue. And she went through something kind of hard, so I made this blue color, and it is stunning. It's so pretty. So she has one of those on the way, and like, how pretty would this be together? Oh my gosh. So I have MK, okay, I have Macy made, and then I did, I, I'm calling this one, um, I'm, hmm. I'm leaning toward dying poolside or dying to be poolside because it reminds me of being at the pool or maybe like splash pad. Maybe it will be splash pad, but it's just a really pretty subtle um, blue with some specks in there of like orange and berry colors. And this is on my Stardust Sparkle Base. So I have it on sparkle. I have it on shiver. Like, look at that. Can you even? I mean, come on. So pretty. So pretty. And I have MK on Stardust. Oof. Look right here. And I broke down, I unplugged um, Beach Ball Bash. And this is on my BFL. It's an 80 20, or, yeah, 80 20 BFL nylon. Great for socks. Beautiful, beautiful summery colors. So that will be in the shop. And then, oh, this was, this was so fun to do. <clears throat> this is called Koalina. Um, if you don't know, my husband is um, retired military and we spent about six years in Hawaii. And this reminded me of a place in Hawaii called Koalina. And so it's called Koalina. It reminds me of like a sunset. I gotta open this one up. This was super fun to dye. Like what? Can you even? can't even. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Yarn is fun. I like yarn. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be in my shop. And I have one more thing to show you. This is actually a whip. And I have... <laughs> I have... um couple of these but this is called semi charmed and I dyed this on my stardust base you guys wait till you see how this is knitting up because I have this on my needles right now let me show you where did it go I did not dye this self-striping, 
I dyed it because I wanted to see how it would pool. First of all, here's the cake. Okay, okay. Now, I have started, I'm almost done the heel flap, but look at this. Look, what? What? Semi-charmed. So it kind of almost like looks self-striping, but it's not. And then on this side, it kind of pulls in a different way. So fun. I can't wait to have this pair of socks. What else? What else? Ooh, I'm having a, a slight little love affair with Lofty Loops <laughs> right now. I have discovered Allison. I, I've heard of Lofty Loops before, but... I, my, one of my, um, MK, which is one of my self-striping colorways, one of her test knitters used it in a pattern called cold brew socks. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is the, I've seen this done before. And I was so glad to have it written down as a pattern. So this is cold brew by, um, Lofty Loops. And it just gives like this really cool texture, perfect for self-striping or for, um, scrappy socks so you can check that out and i may or may not have gotten her advent calendar i did don't tell anybody so i also bought a skinny yarn and i i prematurely caked it up i wanted to knit it so bad but i'm working on a sock design and i want to use this yarn but i don't have it I'll figure it out yet. So this is um, Lofty Loops Thirst Quencher. And I'm going to be playing around and toying around with sock design. And maybe like tutorials and stuff. That will be fun. What else? Oh, yeah. Okay, so Hypnotic Yarn. I scored this on one of their updates. This is From the Earth on their plush sock. I mean, it's just so good. It's so good. I think I might make Dave a pair of socks out of these. So yes, hypnotic yarn. And I think I'm gonna do a separate video for the Yarnable unboxing. What else do I have to talk about, you all? And I also just wanted to give a huge thank you um, to everybody who helped out when I had shingles um, by donating or um, sending me yarn to put into auction. Um, Laura of Always Be Kind Yarn, thank you so, so much. She so generously sent a package to me um, so that I could have some yarn to auction off and I was de-stashing stuff because I was out of work, completely out of work for two months while having pre-orders open. So, um, so it was super stressful. Also, Georgianne um, from Stitching Plaza sent yarn over for me to auction. Everyone who auctioned donated, like there aren't even words. You guys, thank you so much. It's so crazy, like I don't think I could have gotten through this without the community that I have and um and Rebecca uh hey it's Rebecca on Instagram um kind of coached me and nudged me that like I if you're in trouble that's what community is for right so just got a huge huge big thank you yeah I, I could go on all day and keep saying thank you but anyway I would like to do a giveaway as a thank you. And this is a skein of yarn that is hot to trot and ready to go. I'm going to be giving away one of my um, unplugged colorways. This is um, Beach Ball Bash Unplugged. So I'm going to be giving this away to a special winner. I really, really want to get to a thousand subscribers so that I can do YouTube lives. Um, so 
in order to win this giveaway, it would mean so much to me if you could subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, there's a little bell you can you can tap on so you don't miss any any of this quirkiness. And the prompt, leave a comment below. What is your favorite type of heel to knit for socks? That's it. What's your favorite? My favorite is a heel flapping gusset, but you know, I play for both teams. I like to spice it up. I'll do an afterthought heel. I'll do a short row heel. Um, I recently did the shadow wrap heel and that was really killer. So this will be going to one of you and it will also have a Pretty Twisted Yarns sticker and some other little goodies in it. So seriously, the doorbell is gonna ring. No one ever comes to our house until I'm recording something. <laughs> Can you get that, babe? What is it? Ooh. Uh-uh. All right, you guys. Okay, check this out. This just came. This just came. I upgraded my packaging. I can't believe this came so fast. Yeah, that's what she said. Uh, yeah, I just made it. <laughs> Babe, can you bring me some scissors? What? Bring me some scissors. Yeah, I upgraded my um, ball bands. Oh my gosh, <laughs> for my packages. You have squishy mail. Thank you. You have squishy mail. And also new ball bands, double-sided. Oh, cool. Like it. You guys have fun. Have fun. Looky. Neat. I am so excited about this. These came fast. I have no idea how I'm gonna edit this because I don't even remember what I did or didn't talk about. Like, did I show you my vertices unite? I have no idea. Did I talk about the giveaway? Mm -hmm. Remember to enter in for the giveaway. And that is a um, skein of lovely hand-dyed yarn by yours truly. And all you need to do is subscribe to this channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite heel to knit. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Shop update will happen Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. I really hope I see you there at prettytwistedyarns.com. And again, thank you so much for everything. I will see you guys very soon. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.